blinding rain and very strong severe winds ripped through Seven Hills, a suburb of Cleveland, on Thursday evening around 8 p.m. as this storm tracked off towards the west-northwest, an unusual track due to a upper-level low-pressure system. This produced a swath of damage across the city consistent with 70, 80 mile per hour winds or so. Trees down, some power lines were down and brought out the illuminating company and many different tree services to clear up the damage on Friday. This was caused by a microburst, which is a very localized area of strong winds within the thunderstorm. Now on radar, looking across Independence, Broadview Heights, Seven Hills, Parma, it did not look extremely threatening with very potent velocities of severe wind suggestion, but the overall signature of the storm, where you have a 30 to 40,000 feet thunderstorm that is starting to weaken and collapse, we noticed the hail core was falling out. And all of that wind energy, thousands and thousands of feet in the atmosphere, has to go somewhere, and gravity takes over and it plummets to the ground, and that is what creates this massive gush of winds and rain that takes out the trees, knocks down some of the power lines and the power poles, while these microbursts are straight line winds over a localized area, they do about the same amount of damage as a weaker tornado. They just don't have the twisting nature. Because they're very localized, they're not always extremely predictable ahead of time, which just goes to show you, you always have to be cognizant of whatever Mother Nature can deliver during a thunderstorm in the summertime. For Neo Weather, I'm meteorologist Brian Ivey.